Apple Gift Card is a practical gift that unlocks a world of entertainment and fun. You can send it via email or give a physical card to your loved ones. Your friends and family can spend it on their favorite Apple services, including Apple subscriptions. Apple Gift Card can be used to buy all things Apple. Products, accessories, apps, games, movies, TV shows, iCloud Plus, and more. Visit apple.com for details and to send Apple gift cards to your friends and family this holiday season. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And uh, in this episode, I've been thinking about doing something like this for a while. It was funny because I thought about it a long time ago, but then forgot. And then here I am remembering it um, now because I'm like, I see, here's the thing. Like, I could do so many of those, like, reddit theme episodes and stuff. I could do those every day. And it seemed like at one point I was doing those every day. So I'm kind of taking a break from those uh, episodes until I feel, you know... Uh, the urge to go back and do an episode, then I will, but for now, I'm just going to, uh, chill and things on those, but anyways, I wanted to, uh, yeah, review video games, and, um, just overall, yeah, just pretty much talk about games I've been playing for years, games I just started playing, um, games that I want to play, I want to review pretty much every game out there possible and things, that's, that's honestly my thing, though, I want to play, like, every video game possible, I know that's gonna be extremely hard, actually, you know what, no, it, it, it shouldn't be, like, if I, yeah, if I, um, yeah, if I get every console that's ever been made, I definitely want to make, um, Nintendo 64 games, or games, videos, imagine that, imagine if they, um, remastered, they should, I think they did, did they, I wonder if they ever did, um, N64 remastered, no, no, they just, the shoes, oh, they did, like, a mini, huh, but yeah, I I want to play um I want to play me some Nintendo 64 games. I should play my Nintendo Switch. I don't know why I'm just like. In fact, you know what? I'm actually gonna charge this bad boy up. I am, I'm gonna make me some videos on that Nintendo Switch. Where's the charger at? Cause I'm like, bruh, sitting here and I didn't have this Nintendo Switch for I don't know how long, and I just never play it and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know why I do that. I'll charge it up, never play it. And then just let the thing just sit down and collect dust. And I'm like, I shouldn't do that. But anyways, so the game that I want to review, um, actually, I'm going to be reviewing two games, but it's all like within the same series and stuff. Uh, but Destiny 1 and Destiny 2. And uh, pretty much, I'm going to be telling you guys like the whole backstory of how I found out about the game, um, my time playing the game, how I feel about the game now. So pretty much telling you guys everything that I possibly can about this game like i'm gonna be talking to you guys as if y'all are like police officers like you know them like crime scene people and i'm one of those people that's seen the whole thing and i'm like I, i'm telling y'all telling y'all everything that i've seen from it and stuff but anyways so destiny one starting off with that because uh it being the first one but it is also my favorite that even though those are like the only two that's ever been released Destiny 1, I have to say, was, it's it's much more better than Destiny 2. Destiny 2, the only reason why I still I play that over Destiny 1 is because um, Destiny 2 has, like, new updates and all these, like, new things added to it and stuff. Destiny 2, don't get me wrong, it's good, too, but I... I don't know, it's like a, I thought I heard like, I don't know, didn't know whether that was a bike or a llama or anything. Anyways, it's, a out, it's an outside noise. It ain't, it ain't harming me, but... Anyways, so... Destiny 1. So, how I found out about that game. So, first time I think I remember seeing that game, I was watching one of those, like, PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, um, like, video games that's coming out soon, uh, videos and things. I think I remember I seen where it was, like, a character was, like, sitting down at the tower and stuff. So, I was like, oh, you know, a game. I, I think I was, like, more so making fun of the game because I'm like, I ain't never played a game where you just sit down and stuff. Like, uh, the Sims, I mean, yeah, but I'm like, it just, uh, like, it, I don't even know what kind of game this is, but I'm like, you could just sit down, take a squat and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, that's, that looks, that looks interesting, we're gonna wonder what kind of game that is, and so, first time I remember, uh, seeing it, and then afterwards, I think it was my friend David, he was telling me about that game, and so I was like, oh, okay, you know, I'll probably, uh, check it out, or I'll download the, um, the beta, because I think, yeah, that's what it was, I think he was telling me about the beta, or he was telling me about the game, and how it was like, 
the beta was going to come out soon. So, uh, anyways, download the beta, start playing it, or actually, no, it's downloading and all of that. I think I played maybe a little bit of it, and then I got into an argument with my mom. And then that argument made me mad, so I didn't, I didn't play the game. I turned it off, and I just, I just sat there in anger and stuff, so I was like, I, and then when I went back to go play it, this, that's the thing. Beta games, I'm telling you, they mess up. You try to play a game that's available on, like, or the beta version it's available. Yeah, that game, I think it's because too many people are playing it. And it's overall just going to mess up. If you're, like, one of the last, if you ain't one of the first few people that download it, you're one of the last few people that download the beta, you ain't going to be playing that too much of that game and stuff. So, anyways, um, but, yeah, so I uh, did get a chance to play it then. And then uh, I think the game was, then it started, like, people were starting to talk more about it. Commercials was being shown. Um, they had, like, a really dope commercial, too. They had, like, this, like, live-action commercial. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I was hoping that they turned it into a movie. I was like, bro, if they ever do a movie, those are, like, two games where I was like, man, if they do a movie, I, I want to try out for that movie so bad. It will be Destiny and this, um, other video game called The Division. Now, I'm probably going to do a video, or I'm going to probably do, like, a game review on that and stuff because that, uh, I got some words to say about The Division. But anyways, um, so, yeah. I, I was like, man, I would love to be in the Destiny movie and stuff. I ain't got no acting. I, I, I've seen a lot of movies. I would imagine if you hadn't seen a lot of movies, you have some sort of acting skills. Like, you could do something at least. But anyways, um, but yeah, so uh, they came. They was coming out with these dope trailers. Um, I liked it. I was like, I thought the game looked fun and stuff. And so um, just based off of the trailers, I don't really remember watching like any... Uh, like people playing the game itself so i was like i think i was just mainly just seeing the trailers and that was it so uh game comes out i'm at the uh this um this probably the best it was at one point the best game stops in washington state i've been to so many game stops around like the world well i wouldn't necessarily i've been to a game stops in uh, new orleans that was that was i would say that's pretty cool um I've been to a GameStop. I've been to a, a bunch of other GameStops, but there's this one out where I use, uh, well, where I live at and stuff. And they since then took it down and replaced it with some other store. And uh, but no, that was the best GameStops ever. I remember it was like a rainstorm was happening, and I just went in there and just chilled. It was a straight up safe haven and stuff. But so there's like it was busy because that um, Destiny game was it was like a pretty popular game when it was coming out. So they had a line up there. They had like, they had, you know, like for like clubs and they got one of those things where, uh, well, no, nah, I wouldn't say that. What are those like, well, like, okay, so let me use a different example. You know how McDonald's, they got like those like uh, strap things to like, I guess, like keep the line in order and stuff. It was one of those. They had one of those and stuff in GameStops. I'm like, wow, you know, this is a big deal when they got one of those little strap things where you could just hit, um, slap it and that thing, that slingshot to some pole and stuff. So yeah, I'm like, this is a serious game. So uh, I'm up there, and it was funny. This kid, he's up there trying to buy another game. And the game was, it had to have been rated in for Mature. But he goes up there, and the guy was all like, oh, yeah, so I'm going to have to see some uh, ID. So I think I think he was he was either in front of me, or maybe there was like maybe a, a person or a couple of people in front of me. But overall, I did hear the conversation and stuff. So I, I think I was the next person in line and stuff. But... Anyways, um, so the guy, he's all like, yeah, I might have to see some uh, ID. Kid, like, pulls his ID out. A kid, all right? Guess what ID it was? It was his middle school or high school, whichever um, grade he was in. Excuse me, but it was overall his school ID. It wasn't no, like, Washington State, like, driver's license or ID or anything. So the guy, he straight, like, he said it loud enough to where I can hear him, but he was all like, he said, when I meant ID, I meant Washington State, like, ID, not a middle school ID. And I'm like, dang, you really had to put him on blast? Them dudes, they seriously, they would be putting y'all on blast at GameStops. They don't care. They do not care at all. I'm like, but that guy, he was chilled, though. He was pretty cool. Um, but so anyways, my friend, he worked up there. And him, he already knew. Because me, him, it was our friend David. We were like the we're, we're pretty much like the three amigos when it comes to video games. We haven't played video games lately though. But no, that, those those are definitely it would be me, David, Joseph, another friend of mine's named Brandon. Um, who else? 
those are but no those would be the guys where i was like i definitely there's like other friends i definitely would do youtube videos with but it would be like our own like each individual video but with those guys that i definitely would want to start up like a youtube group with them and things i should i'm gonna like no i'm gonna talk to them about that because i'm like no i feel like that we can provide some serious entertainment to the youtube platform if it was the four of us and stuff so anyways um but yeah he was asking me about the game i'm saying like oh yeah i'm definitely gonna be playing it and stuff so and sure enough i put hours and hours and hours into destiny i put days into that game i played that game for so long up until destiny 2 was coming out and i got a lot of videos up from me playing destiny 1 i had like a whole series up on my gaming channel called ingram openings so ingrams are these like um these things where you overall find like you know some armor for your character or a weapon for your character so they have uh the um rare engrams which are blue then they got the legendary engrams which are purple then they got the exotic engrams which are yellow i'm telling you right now i fed there's like now i feel like playing destiny 2 I, f I find so many like legendary engrams destiny um one though it seemed like it was hard for me that like you actually have to like play the game and stuff to uh get some engrams like you're gonna have to be doing a lot of grinding in that game to get stuff but um that was one thing that made my friend david upset was that every time when i would get something good it was something that he wanted so he'll be so upset like they had like a wide variety of like weapons and armor in there that's one thing that i did um that i do like about destiny is just the variety of things that you can have like, you can have so many different things, and then it's dope. So they have it where uh, your character, he can hold up to, like, nine helmets or nine assault rifles or nine shotguns or, you know, whichever and things. Well, actually, technically ten because they'll have it the one that's equipped, but they'll have, like, its own little section of, like, nine and things that you can have. So, um, yeah, you can have, like, just, like, a whole, like, just pretty much, like, weapon base as you're going along from, like uh like i guess like just some well i don't even know what's it really so they have it where there's like special weapons and things which i guess they don't i don't think they do more damage because there's like having it where there are some special weapons there are like assault rifles or other different types of like weapons and things or sniper rifles and then uh, well i think in destiny one it was different because in destiny one they had it where it was like the regular guns like i think it was assault rifles post rifles um shotguns those are the regulars and then they had sniper rifles fusion rifles uh which other ones i think those were uh yeah those were the um the special weapons and then uh for the like um well the heavy weapons it'll be like machine guns and uh like light machine guns and um rocket lungers and then in destiny 2 they added more there's like um grenade lungers uh, submachine guns, sidearms. I know, actually, no, I, I take that back. They have sidearms, and uh, which are pretty much just like pistols and things. And then, oh yeah, and then hand cannons, hand cannons and stuff, which is pretty much like a overpowered um, like revolver or something. So, anyways, yeah, they had like a wide, they have a wide variety of weapons in there. They have so many weapons, but there'll always be a time where they'll give me like some crazy exotic weapon. Like there is, there is at one point in time where I was getting like a lot of like exotic weapons and stuff. And, um, and my friend David, the funny thing was, is that he played the game more than I did. Like, he was really, he's really good at Destiny and stuff. So he, honestly, he put in more hours in that game. Well, I don't know. Then again, I definitely in Destiny 2. He, I don't even think he really played that much in Destiny 2. But I definitely, with, De um, I felt like with Destiny 1, we might have been neck at neck, um, with, uh, with the hours we spent in Destiny 1. Because it's, if... If I would be, like, throughout the day, I'll, like, you know, he'll probably be playing it, and then throughout the night, I would be playing it. So, yeah, we were probably, like, like very close, like, when it came to that, um, like, us playing it, you know, who put in more hours. Like, I feel like we were overall pretty close, but he might have put in a little bit more than I did, because he, yeah, he had, he, I think he was doing raids and stuff. So, yeah, I, I never, so they, so here's the thing. So they got side missions that you could do. So they have, like, different planets that you can go to. So they have it where you could go to Earth, but you're like in a Russian area of Earth and things. So yeah, I think it takes place in Russia. Um, and then they have Venus, Mars, what other planet? Oh, the moon. You could go to the moon. Um, and yeah, those is like, so pretty much like all of the, like, you know, rock planets and things. But um, any others, they, they, I think they, 
didn't really well actually no it no because they had like i think this is like a moon or not well no it's not a moon what would titan be considered what is titan considered because titan i don't know if that's is the largest moon and the second largest in the solar system okay so it's a moon for saturn okay Okay, but yeah, they have it where you can like go to like um like Titan and stuff. So yeah, they you can do a lot in um in Destiny. That game, it's a very very huge game. It ain't like one of those games you play for a little bit and you're done. Like nah, even afterwards, there's still things that you gotta unlock. There's still weapons that you gotta get. Um, there's honestly there's no stopping at playing that game. So if you're looking for a game you want to play a lot of. Yeah, Destiny is definitely the game for you and stuff. But anyways um what else can i say about destiny one uh but yeah destiny one it was pretty it was pretty it was pretty fun i liked it i really did then destiny 2 was coming out destiny 2 came was coming out and stuff and i did play the beta of that i did play that i think i'm even made a video on it too i might have, i think i did but anyways um yeah when destiny 2 man when they announced that i was like bruh oh it's about to be lit like we the whole gang is about to because at one point, like, yeah, we pretty much had all split up. We wasn't even... I think I was mainly playing... So, yeah, I think I might put in more hours than um, David um, in Destiny 1 because it was at one point he stopped playing it and stuff. So, yeah, and I was still playing that game. I was playing that game every single day and things. So, I, uh, yeah, I was still playing it. But then Destiny 2 got announced and we were all talking about it and stuff. We did play, like, a little bit of Destiny 2 and things together, but... It wasn't like how it was with Destiny 1. Like, I ended up becoming good friends with our um, one friend, Brandon, playing Destiny 1 and stuff. So, yeah, we were constantly doing things in Destiny 1. Um, but then, that and that was another thing in Destiny 1 that I didn't like. So, they have it where you have to find, like, Easter eggs or, like, stuff, like, around the game and things. But they have it where you can't climb. So there's this one, so they have like these like safe places that you can go to. They have one called the tower. Then there is this other one. It wasn't called the tower, but it was like another like safe place that you can go to in the game. So they got it where you're pretty much like, you ain't even rock climbing. You're rock jumping. You're jumping up on all of these different rocks trying to go up and get this like ghost thing. And your ghost is like the, uh, it ain't like an actual ghost. But it's this like little flying robot drone thing that follows you around and guides you throughout the game. And I guess it's like, it can revive you and all these. Like it's, it's a, it's a weird thing. It's, Destiny is a pretty weird game, but it's overall pretty fun and stuff. But yeah, I was like, but in Destiny, Destiny 2, they have it where you can, like, use your hands to climb up on stuff, or if you jump, and then you're, like, not completely there, they'll have it where your character do, like, this, like, little quick grab and pull himself up and things, so, I do like that about Destiny 2, but anyways, um, so yeah, Destiny 2, um, it's, you know, getting ready to come out, I'm gassed up for it and things, I'm like, yo, I can't wait for this and stuff, I'm over talking with like GameStop's clerks and things about it like that's that's when you know like you're a fan of a game like when you're over here talking to people that you don't even know about the game like there's this one it was funny because there's I was at the mall there's this guy he worked at the GameStop's there and he worked at the champ store there so if I wasn't buying video, if he was, if I wasn't in there um, buying video games, I was over at Champs buying some shoes. And if I was wasn't over at Champs buying shoes, I was over at GameStop buying games. But that dude was always. It's funny. Like, let me just tell you about that. Let me just to get off subject about Destiny for a second. That guy. That seriously, how me and his life took a full circle. Like I swear, I. It was something so okay let me just tell y'all so anyways i'm i become friends with this guy this guy tells me everything that i need to know about shoes and stuff adidas shoes and things he told me every he's pretty much the person that did get me into sneakers so i'm cool with him every time i go in there i'm always talking with him and things always you know uh you know like we talk about shoes or video games and stuff i remember he came up to me and he asked me do i have like these particular adidas shoes no idea what he was talking about i'm like nah nah because he was like yo are those boosted and i'm like uh nah nah i don't i don't i don't know i don't feel no boost but i don't i don't think they're boosted and things but anyways he's like uh, he's like oh yeah he's like i thought those was boosted i thought i was about to say like yo let me try those on real quick i'm like I don't even know you, and I don't even know what shoes you're talking about. What is boosted? Like, 
I ain't no grandpa. I don't need no boosted shoes and stuff. What you saying? Like, man, I ain't that old looking. That's, I'm like, what you talking about? But anyway, so I seen him a few more times. We still chilling. Like, and then I think I was, because I think I did see him in the uh, champ. Or actually, no. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I seen him in the champ store. And so I was like, oh, yeah, you work at GameStops and stuff. So anyways, we, um, yeah, we're in the champ store. You're talking about shoes. And then I think I had seen a customer wearing these particular Adidas shoes. I'm like, yo, those are fresh. Those are dope. And so uh, then I told him about it, but I didn't have no idea what the shoes was called. I'm like, yo, there are these Adidas shoes that got blocks on them and stuff. Those shoes are called NMDs. I had no idea what they were called originally, but I was like, the shoes are called NMDs, Adidas NMDs and stuff. So um, he's like, oh, yeah, we're going to release some NMDs and stuff. So he held back a pair for me. And I'm like, bro, I'm I'm saying, like, you're doing stuff like that. Like, I'm going to have to invite you to my wedding. Like, I'm saying, you can, don't do things like that for me. Like, I'm going to seriously, that's, that's some, like, generous things. Like, that's some generous stuff right there. I ain't never had people held back stuff for me and things. I'm like, man. I'm like, that's that's some straight up, like, man, I, I, I feel great about myself. But anyways, so uh, fast forward, he ends up um, leaving uh, the area and stuff. So he's no longer working at both GameStops and the Champ Store. And I remember I asked the one dude, um, like, you know, hey, what happened to him and things? And uh, he was like, oh, you know, he quit. He uh, ran off with my cousin, started dating her. And I'm like, oh, wow. All right, then. I'm like, I'm sorry to hear that i i didn't i didn't realize i didn't realize that was that was a thing like dang i'm i'm sorry to hear that and stuff so dude was mad um but then i i didn't really go in there as much i was like you know i'm like because he you know that was that was that was my boy that was my guy i was like you know i always talk to him about stuff in there and things so anyways um so fast forward maybe at the end of last year at some point in time last year, so he starts working at Nordstrom's because I was like, um, because so the company that I work for was this restaurant and it was like uh, in a contract with Nordstrom's. So he worked um, at the Nordstrom's and I was like, yo, I was like, because I think I seen him. And I'm like, no, nah, that ain't that guy. And then he came up to me. and I was like, oh, yo, snaps. I'm like, yo, I'm, that's crazy how you work in here and things. So anyways, right back to it. Video game shoes, all of that and things. I'm like me. I ain't like um evolved in life and i didn't start buying jordans so i'm like yeah just if you ask anybody at that um at the place that i worked at i was wearing different shoes every day i didn't want to admit to it but i i'll admit to it now since i'm no longer working there yeah i, I wore i wore different shoes every day and stuff but anyway so he's working there and then we hired this cashier and we hired this cashier and she was uh she's pretty cool she was um i think no so i think that's we yeah we were like became like really good friends like first couple of days of her working there and i think she how did i find i think she added me on facebook and then uh i went on her pro because see my thing is i'm like okay let me let me see what um individual because i'm like i ain't trying to befriend no murder or something i ain't trying to see some but no anyways jokes aside so i clicked on her profile and one of the photos that i seen was of her and the guy, the guy that worked at the champ store in the Foot Locker. So I'm like, nah. I'm like, no, 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 no. Because she was talking about like how um, her uh, ex-boyfriend worked at Nordstrom's. I'm like, oh, wow, that's crazy and stuff. So um, I didn't realize her ex-boyfriend was the guy. So she was the cousin. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, wait a second. So I went, oh, man, I'm, I was really like, that was the number one thing that was on my mind that morning. I ran past all the crazy people downtown Seattle. I'm like, I ain't even trying to deal with y'all right now. I got I got people I need to see. I got people I need to ask questions and stuff. So first thing I said to her, I didn't even say good morning. I didn't even ask how her morning was going. I didn't ask her none of that. I was all like, yo, did your ex-boyfriend work at the GameStops in the Champ Store in Federal Way? She was like, yeah, how'd you know that? I'm like, oh my God. You're not gonna, and I'm like, I'm trying to think, because I think she, she, she had to know from, like, day one, like, okay, this dude wearing bright sneakers, yeah, he's a sneakerhead, no doubt about it, and stuff, and I think she told me, like, how her ex-boyfriend, he was, like, really in the shoes and stuff, I'm like, oh, that was pretty dope, like, you know, yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm in the shoes and things, like, you know, I'm just, like, I, did, like, wasn't even thinking about, like, oh, yeah, her ex-boyfriend's the one that got me, so, I straight up, I told her, I was like, yeah, your ex-boyfriend, he's the one that got me in the shoes, we are shocked. I'm like, I'm man. I seen that. I'm like, yo, this is the craziest circle of life. 
I swear that could that could honestly that could be a movie. That seriously, that can be a movie. I'm telling you right now. I'm like that was by far the most craziest thing that's ever. It's one of the most craziest things that's ever happened to me. And so now I straight up told her, I was like, yeah, your cousin, he was hot. He was. I'm telling you, he was heated when I t- like when he was uh, telling me everything that went down. And I'm like, bro. I'm like, it ain't even that deep. Like, that's just a cousin and stuff. I, I Honestly, though, I wouldn't even care. I'm like, yeah, if one of my friends ran off with my cousin, I'm like, all right, you know, more power to you guys. Good luck in life. But dude was hot. Like, he was just, he was like, man, I, I could tell the upsetness in his eyes. I'm like, okay, so I'm, I'm just, I'm going to ask you if you got these in a size 10. I'm just going to walk up out of here because I could tell right now, like, you a little bit upset and things. But that he has some crazy people go off up in that um, champ store and things. But anyways, back to Destiny 2 and stuff. Man, I ain't got like way too but I was like that story could have went by quicker, but I'm like, nah, it was it was one of those stories I had to tell and things. But anyways, so Destiny 2, it comes out. And I'm playing it, I'm playing it. And I I end up like cause no, I ended up liking it, but it just was like different. You know, like it wasn't like Destiny 1. Destiny 1, I was man, I was in love with that game when it came out. So I was like, bro, I'm going to be playing this game. I played that game day and night, but Destiny 2, I was like, nah. I'm like, 8 o'clock came around. I'm like, all right, I'm done. Like, I don't I don't want to play this game no more. But I still I still play it. Um, I feel like now, like now that they got like a bunch of different things that you can do in Destiny 2, now it's like more playable. Like they got all these different versus Destiny 1. Destiny 1 didn't really, they had like the PvE um, modes, which was Strike, the regular missions, um, Raids. And that was it. And then multiplayer, yeah, they just had multiplayer and stuff. Just like uh, 1v1, 3 versus 3, 5 versus 5 and stuff. And that was it and things. But now they got it where, uh, yeah, they got like a bunch of different PvE modes. A bunch of different PvP modes. They got all these different things. All of these different planets and places that you can go to. Plus like more to the planets and places that you can go to. What else? So it's a, I here's the thing. I like the destiny one gameplay but i like all of the things that destiny 2 can provide to like gamers and stuff and then plus they did like some uh like fortnite themed event i guess they had some special things going on in the sky and stuff i'm like oh, okay that's dope i guess you know i missed it i always miss those events i missed the travis scott event i missed all these other different events i'm all that's just my thing i'm missing all of these events never get to see them and stuff but anyways um but destiny 2 it, it just has like a lot. So here's the thing. I like Destiny 1's gameplay. I liked overall like how it played out. And Destiny 2, I like all of the things that it can provide to a person that's playing its game. And plus, Destiny 2 is free. But that is the thing. Like I guess the last DLC that came out for Destiny 2, that's the only um, DLC that you got to pay for. But all the other DLCs are free. So And there's a lot of DLCs that they released. I think they released like maybe three or four DLCs probably before this last one that they came out with. So, yeah, and then they're still, like, adding new things and different stuff that you can do. And it's, like, a it's one of those games you can play, like, maybe a couple of days out of the week, play all your other games, and then just very next week do the same thing all over again. Because there's, uh, yeah, it's, like, probably, like, two, three days worth of, like, content that you can play throughout the week and then, you know, play whatever afterwards. Or you can, like, drag it out, play it, like, you know throughout the week and stuff do a little by little here and there and stuff but overall it's a fun game destiny is a fun game it's a very active game you know you're going to be investing a lot of time into it and stuff so overall the rating that would have to give destiny the whole series i'll probably give it a 9 out of 10 despite that game making me mad at times i still will have to give it a 9 out of 10 because it's one of those games where i'm like i can get mad at it but i'm still going to play it like i'm still going to be playing a crap ton of this game and stuff so yeah, I uh, I like it. I just don't like the fact that they have it where there's, like, the enemies. So, they have, like, the enemies are leveled base, you know. So, they don't, like, spawn, like, 100 enemies, and they're all easy to kill. So, they'll have it where there's, like, hard enemies to kill, and they have it where there's easy enemies to kill. But, let's say if you were just going to a planet without doing the mission, and you just was free roaming, then it's easier to kill the enemies. But if you're doing the mission, then they make it harder to kill the enemies, and they will be the same level. So they'll have it where it's a level 30 enemy running towards you and stuff. And if you're doing it just like, you know, on your free time, then yeah, one couple of shots, enemy's dead. 
But if you play in a mission, oh, you're going to be wasting some ammo on those enemies. There has been times where I had no ammo and I had to like go out, knife a few other enemies or punch a few other enemies and stuff, get some ammo off of them and then go back and try to do the missions. And then they have it where there's some enemies where their health will regenerate. So you'll um, shoot them. They'll get all the way to like maybe an inch of their life left, regenerates all their health back. And that's like, that's the one thing where I'm like, you guys could have left that out. You guys could have seriously left that out. That is just mad frustrating where you waste all this ammo, you waste your super, you waste everything that you can on this enemy just for him to get an inch within dying and then his whole health just regenerates. I know my character's health will regenerate, but it ain't going to regenerate like that and it ain't going to be overall hard for an enemy to kill me and stuff. So yeah, I'm like, bro, you guys, if you're going to be, you, they need to... There needs to be equality within video games. If an enemy is going to be hard to kill, you need to make it where I'm hard to kill. And not have it where it's like, you know, uh, it needs to be a fair fight. Because I'm saying, like, Destiny, they be having some unfair fights and stuff. So, anyways, uh, but yeah. Destiny is a, um, it's a good game. I, I would recommend y'all play it a couple of times, you know. Get the feel of it. I tried getting one of my friends to play in it. Her and her family in there is like, that game, it is confusing though. I'll tell you that much. It's... You know, you're going to have to uh, figure, so you're going to have to sit down and play it for a little bit. Because I know, first day I played that game, I was like, oh yeah, this is uh, this is confusing. What am I doing here? I'm like, I shouldn't, I didn't sign up for all of this. I signed up to play a video game. I don't know why. Um, There's like a, Xbox will send you like, well, they won't send you notifications, but they'll have like these little message things that pop up and they would just let me know that a friend went online. And they showed her um, avatar thing, and her avatar's hair was, like, on crack. Like, that thing was, like, shaking and stuff. That ain't normal. Hair should not shake. But anyways, um, yeah. But I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for listening. If you're new to the podcast, make sure you follow or subscribe. If you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you like and subscribe and viewing this on YouTube. And if you're purchasing tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It will knock $20 off your first purchase. And that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching and or listening and peace.